Jason Bacall, and today I want to talk to you about another reason that your thyroid could go wrong. Now there's about 24 different reasons that your thyroid can not work properly, and really only about two of those reasons uh, call for thyroid medication or thyroid hormones. The rest of those reasons are usually the reasons why you continue to have or suffer from low thyroid symptoms, uh, such as um, you know, you're gaining weight or you're unable to lose weight, um, you're feeling fatigued and tired a lot, um, you're losing hair, your outer third of your eyebrows are thinning, um, digestive problems, you're, you're getting all these different symptoms. So you go into the doctor, you say, okay, I'm feeling this way, so they run some labs, um, and then he says, okay, no, everything looks normal. Um, your TSH looks fine. It's actually a little on the low side, so you're, you're good. And sends you on your way or sends you on your way and says, just take this antidepressant and see how you go. All right, so that's not the, the protocol. I had a patient just the other day who came in and similar symptoms. Uh, she was consistently having a weight gain. Um, she was getting these headaches that she would wake up with every morning. Um, she was uh, really starting to get um, hair thinning. So we looked at those labs, and yes, her TSH, just like I talked about earlier, her TSH actually uh, was low. Um, now normally, we don't like to see you below a 1.8, and she was a like a 0 .82, uh, which, which is, is definitely low. But this isn't hyperthyroidism, and she didn't have um, antibodies that showed she had Graves' disease or anything like that. So we had to look a little further. You know, I, I just couldn't send her out the door and say, oh, just go live with it or go see a doctor and get an antidepressant. No, we had to look a little further. So what we did is we checked her cortisol levels. We actually checked her, what are called your adrenal glands. These guys live right on top of your kidneys and uh, they do all kinds of things. But one of the things they do is they make a hormone called cortisol which helps to regulate your blood sugar. Very important, guys. They, they do quite a few things. You've probably heard of them as they make adrenaline also. Very important hormone. So what we saw in her was her cortisol was really high. It was real high. So we had to figure out well, why is this so high and what can cortisol be doing to her at this level? Well, number one, and one of the biggest things that goes along with this is cortisol can stop TSH, can stop thyroid production. This was having a big effect on her pituitary gland's ability to make or manufacture hormones properly. So she comes, you know, in this picture of where her TSH is really low. So basically what we did is we looked at well, why what would cause these high cortisol levels and many things can cause high cortisol levels um, things like an active infection active inflammation blood sugar problems or high stress well what we found out from her was yes number one she had really high stress levels at work and at home not a good thing we found inflammation on her blood or her, C, her CRP was really high we saw quite a few different things um, and, and again when we see the high cortisol level that again suppresses your pituitary glands ability to manufacture uh, TSH. Not a good thing so she was getting basically no um, thyroid stimulation and she was getting thyroid symptoms and again we don't just send her on her way we say okay how can we make this better what can we do to get this cortisol level down and there are many things that can be done. In particular uh, with the adrenal glands it's usually blood sugar issues. So a lot of times what we'll do is get the blood sugar under control, decrease the stress levels, get rid of any active inflammation that's occurring, get that under control. There's usually an underlying cause for that inflammation and taking anti-inflammatories doesn't do it. You gotta find the cause. So again, another reason why you have this, you don't have to live with this stuff. You, you can have these thyroid symptoms and your doctor again might say you're normal, but don't settle for that. You don't have to settle for that low level of care. 
keep going, keep pushing. Find a doctor who's gonna look for these other things. A doctor who's gonna look at your adrenal glands, who's gonna look at your blood panel in a functional range. A doctor who's going to pursue the problem and not just give up um, when they see a negative on the lab results there. So again, other things that, that you can do and that you can look at um, that could be causing your thyroid symptoms. Um, we'll have more about this soon and other reasons why uh, your thyroid can go wrong. Okay, hope you have a great day. Thanks.